this is code.org and app lab and an awesome 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 dice game um that i made and i'm going to show you how to make your own make one better make it so that you can use it in a digital yahtzee game or dungeons and dragons or i don't know let me show you how it works so i'm just gonna oh it's already started actually i'm gonna click on the dice here but uh and it's rolling but uh Obviously, this is the total. I just want to show you it's easy to keep track of this, too. And here's the amount rolled. I'm going to click on the dice again. And, oh, a 2. And a 4. And a 6. I think you get the point. And it changes color so we can kind of see it as it rolls, which is nice to be able to do, to know. So what's happening here? Well, first of all, how I'm using this is this is actually designed as a text. In the design mode, I dragged out, this is text as well. Uh, this is an alt code. You can search for dice alt codes and you can type it in yourself or you could copy and paste it. Um, I am going to post this project in the description so you can play it, you can look at my code, you can borrow some of it, remix it, change it, make it better, use it in your own thing. And so this is the dice are also designed with alt codes right and so i create this array of those at the top an array of these text animations because these are all label boxes right i drag it out label is how i did that and so i create this at the top score is set to zero and roll is set to zero i don't need these as global variables what i mean by that is i could have variables uh, a score I might need as global, but I could have roll down here within this function. However, I thought it'd be more accessible to leave it up here for other people to use to have it saved at global variable. If that doesn't make sense. Don't worry. I just want to clarify that for some. So on start die, that's this top one. Once the player clicks it, it's going to automatically trigger this function. Set property start die y 500. I'm putting this at 500 y, which just pushes the start die off the screen. Set property die, which is the one beneath it, hidden, false. So it is set to hidden right now. The dice beneath it set to hidden, right? Hidden, unhidden. And so if I check hidden, the computer says hidden is true. And so what I'm saying is set property die, die is the one beneath it. This is start die, hidden, false. And that makes it appear. I then run the function roll dice, okay? Once that runs, random is set to equal to zero. And this is a time loop. Time loops are run every, well, this is run every 600 milliseconds. So if it was five, there's a thousand milliseconds in a second. So almost twice a second. Um, it's flipping through. And what is it doing? Well, random equals zero to five. Why zero to five? Ah, well, arrays, and this is an array, right? This is a list of dice symbols. And how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? There's six sides to the dice. However, there's only five indices. Well, there's six indices, but it starts at zero. This is indice one, index two, index, index zero, index one, index two, index three, index four, and index five. So I ran, want a random number zero to five because zero would show me the one and five would give me the six, four would be the five, so on. So I say, give me a random number. Now set property die, this die below it, text, right? So set its text equal to dice dice dot random so whatever index i get maybe i get a two so i would have a three then i want to change the color so the player knows it's rolling red green blue is equal to zero to 255 random number random number random number because zero to 255 is the uh amount of red green or blue you could have using rgb so zero to 255 red pixels if you will green blue and one means it's not transparent at all so set property of the die the color now if random equals random zero through five now what is this i don't want the dice to stop immediately right and i want to have a way to stop the time loop otherwise it just keeps running every 600 milliseconds forever and so what i'm saying is once if we roll this dice we're gonna not stop we're not gonna stop rolling it until the random number is equal to whatever random number we get here. So really, every 600 milliseconds it goes through, it changes the color and it changes the face of the dice. And it's just gonna keep going through until we get two of the same random number, zero to five. And if you noticed, it doesn't take that long usually, right? Because it's going through several times 
almost twice a second. So you're going to get a number pretty quick, but it gives it that nice rolling effect, forcing it to say, hey, are both random numbers equal? And then if they are, leave it alone. Stop the time loop if they are. Score equals score plus random plus one. And I'm adding plus one because random is zero to five. And remember, zero is actually die one, or the one side, and five is actually the size side equal to six. So I want to add that all up. This, to the score, random plus one is going to be the new value for whatever score was, right? So old score plus the random number we got plus one is now our new score. I'm going to set roll equal to random plus one, right? That's what we just rolled. And then I'm going to set the score property and the roll text property. And that's about it. So pretty straightforward. You could easily do two or three of these throw them on the side of a game or have them be part of the game. And yeah, I'm definitely going to post this in the description. Uh, play it, mess with it, remix it, make something so much better. Do something cool and post your game in the, just in the comments too. I'd really love to see what y'all create and to be able to play it myself. So, ta-da! And I, I guess there's no way to lose this one, so that kind of makes me feel good. <laughs> all right, all right. Onward!